Hey, I'm John from Cactus Country in Northern Victoria. We're located about three hours north of Melbourne on the Murray River. My parents started this huge cactus garden back in 1986 and now people from all around Australia come and check out what we do. When mum and dad arrived here, this was a peach orchard, so the first thing they did was bulldozed all the peaches and started planting cacti. It's really sandy here. When dad was a kid, he actually used to um, pick on a fruit orchard here. So he knew that this ground was gonna be perfect. And um, over to my right now, there's like a big hole in the ground, which is um, all like white sand and gravel. And we're turning that into like a big amphitheatre. But when I was a kid, there was actually water down there. Really, it's perfect because cacti don't like wet feet. So we don't want heavy soil, we don't want clay, we want sand. So no, we haven't brought any any sand or gravel or anything in, it's all just natural to this region. So over the years we've really developed our plant cells nursery, so now we've got a huge space and a huge variety of plants from small to large and I also do cactus cutting, so if you're after something that's really big, um, you get in touch and I help you find the plant of your dreams. There's, there's actually no cacti native to Australia, so they're all brought in from overseas. So even though we're breeding some plants uh, in Australia, technically still the genetics, the original genetics of all cacti have come from overseas. Yeah. Huge cactus garden, it's broken up into areas of origin, so you can walk around South America, North America, Mexico and Africa. Um, we've got a cool little Mexican cafe, so you can go in there and grab a Corona and a frozen margarita. Got cactus cake and cactus ice cream, must tries. Um, usually when people are finished, they're going to head through the nursery and find a plant to take home with them. And uh, over the years we've really developed that, so there's a huge range of cacti and succulents to choose from now, which we're really excited about. But what's really interesting is coming here in October, November and seeing all the different colours of flowers. I don't think of cacti and pink coloured flowers, but yeah, it's, they're really incredible. I think it'll be the next like Floriade in a sense of people will come here in that season just to see the flowers. It's that spectacular.